Hello. I'm going to teach you how to bake something today. I know, baking, it's, it's difficult. People don't do it, do they? Well, I'm going to teach you how to bake something. And uh, it's something I've invented myself. It's called Kokomon buns. And they're basically the buns with coconut and cinnamon. Hence the name Kokomon. It has nothing to do with Pokemons. And I don't choose you. I just make it. Chuck everything in. Not everything, actually. But you chuck the flour, oh, the flour and the yeast. And three tablespoons. Two ta yeah, three tablespoons of sugar. And more or less a teaspoon of of cinnamon. I'm just going to do it in my hand like this. Yeah, it's very nice. And for the cardamom, just a pinch. Not much, just a little pinch is enough. My girlfriend completely disagrees, or well, my fiance completely disagrees. But I'm just going to say one, it was a solid pinch though. It wasn't just a, it was enough. She loves cardamom a lot. Um, yes, then you blend all this together and then you put in the water. The water should be, if you're using dry yeast, you should, uh, the water should be slightly warmer than your, uh, than your wrist. So put the water in and then you blend, then you start using your hands. So make sure your hands are clean, obviously. Just kind of fold it over itself until every, all the all the flour is in the dough and just keep going. Sometimes it might seem like it's going to be really wet and sometimes it might seem like it's really dry. Just give it a few minutes and just keep going. After about five or ten minutes it should look something like this. It's it's relatively sticky but it's so dry, it's dry enough that it doesn't stick to actually stick to anything and it's quite smooth and nice. Plop that down and get some cling film or anything that you can kind of cling film or a, or a damp cloth or something and just drape it lightly over so that it catches any moisture or anything like that. What's she filming now? What's my ear? My ear is very interesting. So just make sure that no moisture comes out and just leave it in a warm room for about 45 minutes to an hour. And now she's filming my ass. <sighs> what kind of, you can't buy proper help, can you, these days? <sighs> anyway, so leave it for 45 minutes or so and then take a rest in the meantime. Yes, thank you. Come on. The first thing you've got to do after you've let it sit for a while and after you've relaxed for 45 minutes as I obviously have been you start off by just kind of mashing it down again yeah I know it seems a bit counterintuitive Okay, yes. Then you take one, two, three, four, five. Some of those were a bit small, so I'll take seven. There you go. <sighs> so difficult. Now we just work it into the dough. This might take a little bit of time, but it's not hard to do. You just do the same thing you did when you prepared the dough earlier. Just keep folding it and in the end all the coconut will be gone. Well, not gone, it's, it'll be in the dough. Stop filming the chocolate spread. Right, now that I've taken your chocolate spread away from you, maybe you can film me properly. So, I'm done. 
All the little coconut bits are in here now. Spread some flour on your table. Then you roll it out. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use an old wine bottle or something of that sort. Be a bit MacGyver. Think to yourself, if you don't have a wine bottle and you don't have a, a rolling pin, think, what would MacGyver have done? La la la. No, don't poke. <laughs> Stop it. I'll, I'll roll your fucking finger. Mm. You're confusing. You're... It's supposed to be a nice, relatively even circle, but now it's all blobby. It's all blobby because of you. Don't go. Don't go. I didn't mean it. I'm going to have to start over. Okay, now I've finished it. Once you stopped messing about. And so I've finished evening it out. It's a nice kind of semi-even circle. Don't focus on the little wrinkles. Now I'm going to take some some margarine or butter, you know, you, you can decide yourself. I like buttery margarine the best. And then you just kind of slop it on there. Relatively thin. <laughs> some more cinnamon! Yay! Oh, that's quite a bit. More cinnamon! Yes! And then some more sugar. Uh, take some sugar. Oh. Take some sugar in my hand. You're being very well behaved. I'm proud of you. And then I'm going to stick this whole bloody thing in into the oven and it's all going to be fantastic. No, we're not going to do that. Oh, I'm going to cut it. Mm. You can easily get 16 slices out of this. Stop eating the chocolate spread. And now I'm going to roll these up. You can do them any way you like them. You can roll them up as buns or whatever. So you're going to roll them up. I've sent my way to a room and I've fixed everything up nicely. And here, here they are and I'm going to cover them uh, for the last 10 or 15 minutes. It takes for the oven to warm up to 225 degrees centigrade. The buns. And it we go. And 10 minutes or so, that should be enough. And there we go. Yum.